People call him Lucifer, you know, some people call him Satan. He's depicted with these horns, looks very scary, you know, in fire, has this three-pointed spear. Uh, Muslims call him Shaitan, people call him Satan. There are different names for him, and I believe uh, we all know exactly who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the devil, okay? Dab Diablo. I don't think there's any confusion about this. The minute you describe those attributes, nobody says, uh, which devil? I mean, I've never seen a person say which devil because, you know, pretty much everybody knows this devil and, you know, accepts that he's the guy who leads man to do evil or is described as the guy that leads man to do evil. You know, he's the guy behind the bad things that happen and all of that story about Satan. So, we know we are talking about the devil, right? And atheists don't have a problem with that. Atheists do realize and recognize and accept, and I've never heard, heard an atheist or humanist saying, which devil? But then, a common argument nowadays, which I've noticed when I'm watching a whole bunch of atheist you know, videos, and I think probably the atheist prophet, Richard Dawkins, started it as, they ask this question, they say, which God, you know, is it the Muslim God or is it the Hindu God? Like, which of your gods are you saying? We are just rejecting one more of your gods. And I really, really think that's such a puerile, juvenile, lame argument. Because just like the way we describe the devil, and we call him different names, but we know who we are talking about. That's the same thing with God in the monotheistic faiths. For most of mankind, it's one single supreme being. Be it Christianity, be it Hinduism, Hinduism, be it Islam, Zoroastrianism. It's one single supreme being. They can't confuse themselves and then make that seem like, oh, which God? You look through the different holy books. So long as the God is monotheistic, is a single God, and satisfies the attributes of being the eternal, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the omnipotence, the omnipresence, it's the same God, the creator. It's one God. It doesn't matter which name you call him. So the atheists try to bring up this whole new argument and it's the hip thing, you know, like I was in this forum, you know, something and skeptics, they're like, which of the gods? I'm like, it's only one God. All the faiths worship only one single God. So long as he has those attributes, it's the same God. Different names, different faiths, same God. So you have in the Bible, you know, you have the description in Revelations 1 verse 8, I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord, that's the God. Doesn't matter which name you call him, you could call him Yahweh, you could call him Allah, you could call him Allah, same thing, or Elohim is the plural, you put the M at the end, but it's Allah, Allah, Elohim, Eloi, those are different derivatives of the name, or you call him Yahweh, one God, supreme being, omnipotent, omnipresent, creator, singularity at the beginning of the Big Bang, the single force, the entire force, no other force but that force. It's the same principle, across the board, all religions, same God. Weak argument. The Bible, John 20, verse 17, describes God, the one God. It says, I ascend to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Luke 10 says, Jesus is answering a lawyer, and you have these Jewish lawyers come and ask him all these questions, and Jesus, Jesus is talking to the lawyer, and he's like, what's written in your law, and how readest thou? Man says, you know, love my God, love the Lord, your God, with all your heart. And Jesus says, do that, you'll be saved. Worshipping the one God. It's not like Jesus is saying, mine is supposed to be a new faith and you are the Jewish faith. No. Do that, your God, love the Lord, the God, with one, you'll be saved. Come to uh, so many verses in the Bible describe the same attributes. Come to the Muslim Quran. Quran 35 verse 44 talks about God, but nothing can defeat God in the heavens or in the earth. He is indeed omniscient, omnipotent. God, same God. 
God is a name. Same God. Quran 57 verse 3, he is the first and the last, the ascendant and the intimate. And he is, of all things, knowing. Same God we're talking about. Um, and so on. You have so many verses like that. Hinduism. People think, oh, they have 330 million gods. No. Those are deities. You see, human beings are very visual. And they always believe they want something to use to get through to the supreme being. So in Hinduism, you have all these deities. In African traditional religion, you have all these people worship in Yoruba religion, they worship thunder, they worship attributes, people worship angels, attributes, they create deities to reach the supreme God. But Hinduism is monotheistic. Go to Quora.com, a question was asked, go to Hindu.com, people of our different websites, just Google it. The name of the supreme being in Hinduism is Brahman, with the N at the end, Brahman, that's the supreme being. Eternal, formless, shapeless, all-powerful, creator of everything, just like in all the other faiths. Same one God in Hinduism, Brahman, not Brahma. Brahma, without the N at the end, his wife is Saraswati. And when you think about that name, you see Brahma, Saraswati, Abraham, Sarah, same thing. Different faiths, same thing. But we're not even talking about Brahma right now and the fact that that's Abraham. We're talking about Brahman, the supreme being in India, Hinduism. Same God, same attributes, different name. And the cool thing is, the Quran says in 7 verse 180, to God belongs the names most beautiful. So call him by them and leave those who blaspheme his names. Buttressing the point, to him belongs the names most beautiful. It doesn't matter what name you call him. Beautiful names. You can't trick. It's like a lame, desperate argument. The atheists and humanists and other rejectors of faith. And there's one thing I've noticed about these guys lately. They are like, it's like they are, uh, I don't know whether it's um, intimidated, insecure, but they want to, they, they, they're fanatical. They're aggressive. They're like, how dare you say it's one God? You guys can't do that. You know, you guys are worshiping different gods. Which god is it? You know, keep quiet. Don't dare talk. They're coming out so violent, so vile, so aggressive. And I think it comes from this insecurity, some kind of fear that they have. But the point is, they need to step up to a better argument. You know, the prophets like Richard Dawkins, these guys make money off of this thing. But then you have the whole congregation coming and repeating these same claims that are no, they are really juvenile. Anyway, I'm Dr. Peregrino Brimer, and thanks for watching.